Hello, today I'm showing you how to use this Coda plugin called GD Main. It's used to obfuscate your code when you export uh, your project. Some of you may even ask, like, how? Why do you have to obfuscate your code? Um, it's because your code it's it's stored like as plain text. When it's plain text, it's not even reverse engineering. They can just modify your project as as it is. So this is just makes it way more difficult by. Uh, scrambling the names of variables, the names of functions, uh, stuff like that. As of now, it's not in the asset library, so you have to do this like uh, manually. Uh, there are a couple of ways. You can get the newest uh, code base just going here by doing download zip. That's what I'm going to do. Also, like uh, you can go to the releases and download it from here. Both of these work. This is a bit older, this is uh, 27 commits behind the main branch. And uh, if you just do it from here, this is the main branch. So this is like the newest stuff. And there's like a couple of features I wanna show from the main branch, which isn't, which are not here yet. This is from January. Okay. So uh, upon downloading this, I'm using the same project that I used, that I used to show up the decompilation. So to install this add-in, you just go to GD main and uh, drag this add-ins folder to your um, Godot project. And here we can launch up Godot and open up the project. And now it should be visible in here uh, in the plugins tab and we just have to enable it. That's it. So what it does now, uh, every time you compile your project, it obfuscates the code. So now let's check this out. Let's add an uh, export configuration here. Here, if you don't, if you don't want the obfuscation to happen, you can add this feature here. No GD main. It basically means makes it so that there is no uh, the code will not be obfuscated. But I want it to be, so I'm not gonna do that. And then let's export the project. Let's do this debug, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a source map was saved. This basically just means that uh, you can use this view source map to see the obfuscated code, like uh, how it happened, like how it changed the code. So here, these are all like global functions, which are like part of the engine. So it can't really obfuscate this, except like it stripped strip the code here. Uh, uh, it stripped the comments, but like a uh, process the code has to know how, what function to call every frame, so it can't really change this. And this is part of the no 2D global position, so it can't really change that either. This is a global function. So here, no changes really happened. But let's look at main.gd, and here we can see the effect. Uh, so like type names, button is part of the engine, can't really change that, label, point light, if you go look at our functions like update text uh, turned into this. The string is not obfuscated obviously because you know the, the text still has to be set properly for this label so it can't obfuscate that because then it would just read gibberish. In a bigger code base this would make it like almost impossible to like reason about this code because everything is just gibberish. You know it would take weeks, months. This is uh, show so off some of the examples. So here you can use comments to uh, turn off the obfuscation and then uh, enable it. So this one variable now is not obfuscated. And every time it's uh, referenced, like in here, it's gonna use the unobfuscated variable name. This is just so like, if there's some code which breaks, because uh, this can break code, okay? For example, here, using a setter, with a string, because remember, strings by default, they don't obfuscate because like what if you're setting a label, text on a label, then you can't show gibberish to the user or maybe you're printing logs or whatever. Uh, you can't obfuscate those <laughs> because you, you, it's visible to the user. If you want the constants to be in line, you have to type them like this. This was not working. Um, this will not work, at least didn't work for me, so I had to do like uh, assign it to be an integer. 
then yeah it was able to delete it from the source code and inline it here when i'm where i'm using it <sighs> so yeah uh, you can even double check that this is working for you by decompiling your game you can use the tutorial i made two days ago to um decompile your code shameless plug uh, it's down in the description you should watch it um one thing you might want to uh, change is the seed so every time like it should not be zero you should change this to something uh, maybe like even use dynamic seed so every time you export your project it uses a different seed for the random number generator so when when you're exporting uh, the variable names and the function names every time you export will be different and not the same and also like uh, or, or, or you could just say you should change this so then it will not be like same as with somebody else you know just to make your your obfuscated code a bit more unique so there's no like more other people who happen to have the same variable names and if they do have the same variable names they would have the same obfuscation so if you enjoyed this video, maybe you want to show show this off to some people to, you know, remind them that by the way you have to do these things for your game if you don't want uh, unauthorized people tampering with your code, your, with your game, whatever. Uh, 